Girls don't know your late count. Girls don't know your past success with women. Like you think that they do, not literally, but you think that they can just like feel that you that you suck with girls. They can't. It's about how you carry yourself. If you carry yourself like a loser that's not good enough, that's a victim, then they're gonna treat you like that. They treat you how you act. That's the key fucking lesson. All you need to know is that the reason why women are attracted to cocky guys is because they exude full confidence. Let's put some traits, because I used to be the, the fucking you know, negative guy. Let's put some attributes so you can see the difference here. Basically ignores flaws, okay? Now, and this doesn't mean like you're like deluding yourself, like you're aware that you have them, but they don't bring down your confidence or your value in your mind. 100 out of 100 mindset exudes full confidence. This guy is focused on his flaws. His mindset is that he's not good enough, okay? So maybe like 40 out of 100, maybe 30 out of 100, not good enough mindset, no confidence, or, or you know, subpar confidence. Because of the fact that he's focused on his flaws, because of the fact that he's got a mindset that he's not good enough, and then this guy is comfortable in his own skin. Also, this guy is usually a victim and pity party in his head kind of shit. If only I looked like a model, if only I was tall, if only I had more money, if only I was in better shape, that would solve all my problems. And guys don't realize, I have plenty of clients that come to me tall and they're not getting girls, good looking and not getting girls, muscular and not getting girls, rich and not all the time and not getting girls. Why? Because that doesn't teach you how to text. It doesn't teach you how to run a cold approach. It doesn't teach you how to run a date. I say this stuff over and over and over, but I want it to make sense to you. All these red pill retards, they're like, just get that bag, bro. It's fucking bullshit. You're all welcome to go make money and see what happens. You can imagine the girls won't just magically start falling into your lap. That's not what happens. Okay, that's just not. That's pretty much it. Like, So you can choose to keep being down here and presenting yourself as a loser because what's in your mindset is going to come through in your in your words and your body language okay and it's probably going to prevent you from approaching in the first place in cold approach and it's probably going to make you give up with online and then you're done that's it and even if you do dabble in online or cold approach your strategies are going to suck and you're going to fail probably because your strategies suck and because your mindset sucks and then it's going to reinforce all this you're already fucked because your mindset's down here and because you have no strategy. So maybe you half-ass attempt, hey, I'm a loser, do you want to talk to me? No, I have a boyfriend, sorry. Oh, uh, it's, I knew it's because of my hairline or because I'm Indian. Hey, uh, I'm a loser, do you want to talk to me? Uh, no, sorry, uh, me and this other girl here are lesbians. And then RSD, the reason why I still bring up RSD is and for those of you that are newer to the manosphere and the pickup world and all that, you don't know who the fuck they are and, and you're lucky for that. But Owen Cook, aka RSD Tyler, led a company called Real Social Dynamics that was like the company in the space for like a decade. For anybody that wanted to learn this stuff, they all fucking landed on that. There's a guy in the eight-week program now, he was like the star football player in his high school I, lo I love training guys that were like naturals that like lost their edge once they lost their like natural environment. So he banged like 50 girls in high school, which is much better than the zero that I did in high school. He banged like, so, okay. So like 50 late count. And then after high school, like he didn't have the, the, you know, the status anymore of being the star football player. And so he didn't know what to do. So he went to the pickup community and he had, he got stuck on RSD and he's like, dude, I tried all that shit. And it made me like weird and, and not get any results at all. I'm like, yeah, you and everybody else. Then he went to like the red pill guys, like alpha male strategies and other fucking dumbasses. And he's like, that stuff didn't work either. And he's like, you're the first guy where like, I can actually see this working very well, very fast. Cause you have a systematic approach and you talk about all this stuff. Like you've actually done it and I, and you're authentic and I believe it. I'm like, yeah, now we're going to actually get you really good. But okay. So RSD was telling you guys, just go take more action. Just go take more action. Just go take more action. That's not a good solution. Just taking more action is not going to give you proper strategy and it's not going to give you proper value. All right, before we continue guys, we have the John Anthony GPT ready. It's trained on all my paid trainings on all my YouTube videos and hundreds of hours of coaching calls. Okay, it's basically like having me in your pocket 24 seven. That's what she said. Go book a call to find out the pricing and details on that, or if you're interested in training with me in any capacity, okay? There's a link in the description, a pinned comment, or up in the info card. Let me see some questions here, because I'm trying to think what else I can say here that fucking would make this hit home even stronger, okay? But this is literally, like this chart here represents the whole problem why all guys are failing at dating. And we have to, we have to represent the lack of a strategy as well because just being cocky isn't good enough. You also have to know how to move girls through the process. This is essential. 
Without this, you're fucked, okay? You can be cocky all day long and you'll get interest initially and then you'll fuck it up in the interaction. You'll fuck it up over text. You'll fuck it up on the date. You'll fuck it up when she comes back home. You'll fuck it up after she leaves. There's plenty of areas for you to fuck it up if you don't know what you're doing strategically. So there's no way around this. This is what I train on my eight week program. And this is what's now embodied in our John Anthony GPT. But I'm just gonna write up here like the winning formula. And as Paul Jenka acknowledged on a recent live, once you have mindset and strategy down and you remove the, the bottlenecks, and a bottleneck is simply an area where you can get stuck. If you suck at cold approaching, you're not gonna be getting very many phone numbers, that's a bottleneck. If your online game pictures aren't that good, which is, a tr which is the case for almost everyone, and they, they, even if they're good, they can be always made much better with the, our process, then you're not gonna get many phone numbers there either. So uh, the whole equation becomes a non-starter if you're not getting at least 10 new phone numbers a week, which hardly anybody is. Then you have to know how to text properly, which is a whole nother fucking, frankly, a nightmare if you don't know what you're doing. And that's why I give all the texting, all the text paths explicitly stated for the clients. And they just follow that same, same flows that I use personally. Then I have the blueprint for the dates, the blueprint for the closing, the blueprint for the rotation. Like I said, without optimized strategy, you're going to hit bottlenecks. Without the 100 out of 100 mindset, you're going to appear like a loser to the girls. You have to fix the mindset and the strategy. These are the two key elements. We usually fix these two things for guys in one to two weeks on my week program. They're set for life. That's literally all you need to do. And once you know the strategy, like you know it for life, there's no more coaching needed from anybody. And a lot of you probably can't imagine having the 100 out of 100 mindset or, or think that there's things that preclude you from fe feeling confident. And that's how mostly every client has started with me over the past 10 years. They love cocky guys because they're confident and because they don't let their confidence get shaken by their flaws. Just because you're cocky doesn't mean you have no flaws, right? I was cocky throughout the game, being very skinny having a receding hairline, having a ghastly appearance at times from, from binge drinking daily, having anxiety problems, right? It doesn't mean you have no flaws. You just try to optimize and do the best with what you can, and then you ignore them. Just like approach anxiety, you still feel it, but you ignore it. Mystery says treat it like a pebble in your shoe. You don't stop walking because there's a pebble in your shoe. You ignore it. It's not that you're trying to become a version that's like perfect, because okay, nobody's perfect. You just have to be happy with who you are and confident in who you are and comfortable in your own skin, proud of what you bring to the table versus being down here. And if I started thinking like this, my results would go way down. It doesn't matter. I don't get a free pass just because I've banged a lot of girls. And by the same token, a virgin or a guy with little to no results, he can appear like this and the girls will respond accordingly. And that's another like big realization that, that my clients have is that like girls don't know your late count. Girls don't know your past success with women. Like you think that they do, I mean, not, you, not literally, but you think that they can just like feel that you, that you suck with girls. They can't. It's about how you carry yourself. If you carry yourself like a loser, that's not good enough. That's a victim. Then they're going to treat you like that. Would what, what, you expect them to treat you like the man? If you're not acting like the man, they treat you how you act. That's the key fucking lesson. So act like the man. It's a much better life. It's a much better style. And that doesn't mean you need to be arrogant. It doesn't mean you need to think that you're better than the girl. Okay. He's on the same level. These red pill guys think that they're like here and that the girl's down here and they're like, Hey, you can't look at a girl at a guy in public. Hey, you can't order your own food. Hey, uh, you deserve less. And the girl's like, you're a fucking corny retard. Cause these guys, this is all fake. This is all incongruent. This is all like, oh, I'm the, I'm the guy and I'm going to tell you who's in charge and blah, blah, blah. And this is just misogyny, okay, when, it, when the guy is like that. Don't be a misogynist. That's not what I'm saying. Don't think you're better than girls or that, or that girls are below you or anything like that. Think that you're good enough and you're on the same level. And just treat them like a fucking normal human being. Hot girls just want to be treated normal. I'm currently dating a, a ton of hot girls. Like last night, before I made the, <laughs> the GPT video last night that came out today, I started the video. I was like, I just triple cream pied. I, I was telling this one female friend of mine from Philadelphia, I was like, I just triple cream pied. She knows I like do pickup and all that. She's like, what's a triple cream pie? I was like, I fucking busted a nut inside of her three separate times and I have a vasectomy, so it doesn't fucking matter. This chick's like close to a 10. Like if I had to like change anything, I wouldn't know what to change. Perfect tits, perfect ass, perfect face, has a long, you know, every, every guy wants to bang her and she's like super into me. And I have a bunch of others like her. I just treat them like normal people. I'm not showering them with, with praise and attention, but that doesn't mean I withhold praise too. 
I compliment them when I fucking feel like it. I say whatever I fucking want to say. I, I'm not. I'm not thinking. Oh well, this this girl's so hot. Can I make this joke or or can I tell this story that that she might not like? I don't care about any of that. Okay? I'm confident in what I bring to the table. I'm comfortable in my own skin. I think I'm the man. I'm at 100 out of 100 mindset, and I know exactly how to move them through the process. And I fuck their brains out. And this chick, the, the the one that's like like practically a 10, I don't know. What, like I said, I don't know what I would change to make it better. She like squirts too. Like when I like rail her doggy style, with like perfect ass. She like squirts out the back. I was telling Josh and Connor, we have a, we have a chat. I, I was like, it's like a water ski, like dumping water out the back. Or not not a water ski, a jet ski. Like dump, like literally like dumping water out the back, all over the floor, making a mess. Uh, make sure you guys let me know what you think about all this in the comments. Like the video. Watch my video in the end screen to learn more about the John Anthony GPT. And thank you guys so much. And Jay don't stand in line. I ain't never had to wait. I'm the realest in this game. I ain't never had to fake. Just take a look at the scores. I put numbers up on the boards. I'm in a section with models. And you're at the bar trying to get out of cluster of fours. Fixed drama factor. I'm a boss tycoon. My dick smell like two chicks before noon.